the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 30. For we know him that has said, Vengeance belong unto me. Vengeance belong unto me. Vengeance belongs unto God. Let God fight your battles. Let God defend you. Let God fight for you. Do not take it upon yourself to demand vengeance or to revenge for any wrong that has been done for you. God is your defender. And one of the things he likes to do is to judge, is to, is to avenge you. As a matter of fact, one of his names and attributes is that he is the avenger. Now, once you start to take your battles into your hands, you are taking over the duty of God. It's just like taking up his glory. He likes to fight for, for, for his children. And the truth is that the, 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 the vengeance of God may look slow, but it's sweeter. God says, I will fight those who are fighting you. Exodus 14, 14, 14, 14, I will fight those who are fighting you. So don't fight your battles, whether it's physical battles. As much as the only battles you can even fight is physical. You can't, you can't fight your spiritual enemies. It's with Jesus Christ you can fight your spiritual enemies. The people that has done wrong for you, that has offended you, forgive them. Decide in your mind that you are not going to re take revenge. Whether they are small or big or big thing. Somebody slap you, somebody mash on you, somebody insulted you, somebody abused you, somebody cheated you, somebody betrayed you. Let God take the revenge. I decided in my mind many years ago that even when I'm driving on the road. No matter what happens, maybe somebody hit, maybe there is, there is, maybe somebody hit my vehicle. I have decided that I will not take any revenge. And by the grace of God, nobody has ever hit my vehicle. But it is so common, for instance, on the road to see people fighting over minor, minor dents, minor scratches. So many things happen in our office every day, and we have bitterness, we have manis. We will hold manis and we want to fight our battles. Let God fight for you. Many years ago, somebody, somebody physically abused me. He beat me up when I was on my duty. And because he was heavier than me, I, mean, I couldn't defend myself. There was a policeman around, but the policeman even, even, uh, even collaborated with him. Do you know? Two years later, that person committed an offense and he was jailed. He spent three years in prison. In my life, there is nobody who has ever cheated me that went scot free. There is nobody who has ever fought me on a wrong premise that, that, that goes scot free. And I pity them. There is nobody. God told me, the Holy Spirit made a covenant with me in 2008. I will fight those who are fighting you. So if you made a mistake of fighting me for any reason, I try to, 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 I try to be right. But if you made the mistake of cheating me and fighting me, I just keep quiet and I pity you. God, that guy beat me, but he went to jail for it. Let God fight your battles. Need vengeance for God. I rebook every spirit of manis. I rebook every spirit of bitterness. I rebuke every spirit of, of infighting, of every, every spirit of anger, and I cast it out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive the peace of God. Leave your battles for God. He will fight for you. And victory is your portion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.